Now, since we have iOS 16 updated on our iPhone 14, I wanna show you a new feature that comes with it regarding the display and the lock screen for this new iPhone. So now with iOS 16 on your iPhone 14, you can actually change and edit your lock screens without having to go into settings. You can do it right through the lock screen, which makes it super convenient and easy. And they have offered tons of new customizations you can do with these lock screens. So let's dive into all of them. So first, if you wanna edit your lock screen that you currently have, all you have to do is just hold down on it like this and you can click customize right here. So now we have tons of options to choose from like changing the font, the color and adding certain widgets. So for example, if I wanna change the color of my text right here, I can just click on that and I can choose the font and color. They have offered tons of fonts like all of these right here tons to choose from. And then you can also slide to choose different colors you want for that specific font. You can choose all of these colors right here and say you don't wanna choose any of those colors. You can always just go to this ring right here and choose from a spectrum, grid, or sliders. So say for example, I wanna choose a red slider. I can just always move this up or down depending on my preference. And this is one of the colors you can choose, but there's tons to choose from. You can essentially edit your lock screen in any way with all of these colors. And you can also choose what widgets you want to be shown on your lock screen. Right now you can see I have my calendar, the weather, and my battery percentage for my iPhone. But if we tap right here, you can see all the widgets you can add and remove. So say I wanna remove my weather, for example, and I wanna add my alarm clock instead, I can just click that right here and now my 7:45 a.m alarm is going to pop up right on my lock screen then if you want more options to choose from you can choose any of these that you prefer tons of widgets to choose from and i definitely recommend trying them and personalize it to your needs and you can also choose the color of your lock screen so right now we have deep purple which is the color of the iphone that i got but if we just swipe over you're going to see we have gold silver and space black. And if we click these three dots down here, you have the option to have a depth effect as well. This will just show in more detail, which I definitely recommend because it has an incredible display. And if we click done right here, you're going to see this option as well. We have the option to set the wallpaper as a pair. So this will be the color and display of my lock screen and my home screen as well. And say you want to customize your home screen in a different way. There's no worries there. You can actually choose a different option for your home screen, but I'll dive into that later. Now, if you want to create a new lock screen or switch between lock Lock screens you also all you have to do is just hold down your lock screen you can see i have tons i've already created but if we want to create a new one you can either click this plus button or swipe right here and click add new so by adding new there's tons of wallpapers to choose from we have anywhere from photo shuffle emoji and the featured i'm going to walk you through some of my favorites right now so one of the coolest options i think is the emoji option so you can actually have emojis as your background of your lock screen if you scroll down to this emoji section right here they're going to give you a few that they recommend all of these options but if you want to create your own you just scroll back up to the top like this click emoji and now you can choose any emoji that you want and that you like and add that as your lock screen so for example this was a combination of emojis i used to create this lock screen right here and i put it in a blue background but you can essentially edit your emojis in any way and choose from the options they give you like this one for example completely up to you but this is a brand new feature on the wallpapers with ios 16 that i definitely recommend checking out and if we go back to create new i also also want to show you one of my other favorites which is also the photo shuffle so with photo shuffle it's essentially a dynamic set of photos that shuffle as you use your iphone throughout the day and you can actually change the shuffle frequency so i have mine set to hourly but you can change this right here by choosing on tap lock hourly or daily so i want to do on tap for example and they give me recommended photos to use so let's click use featured photos right here so now this is the first photo in my photo shuffle and if i want to tap i can see all the other photos that are going to be featured in this photo shuffle as you can see apple chose the best pictures i have taken to have as my background i included nature and cities and then also on top of this, if you wanna add any widgets or change the font, you can definitely do that as well. And now every time you use this photo shuffle, every time you tap your screen, it's gonna change that lock screen right here. And say you don't want all of these photos that are shown to be featured in this photo shuffle, you can click these three dots right here and you can actually have this photo specifically not featured and you can turn that off. So now this photo won't be featured and you can choose which ones you want to have featured on this lock screen, which I think is super cool. And all these photos are great. So I definitely recommend trying that if you like taking photos and have some high quality ones you can choose the black and white option duotone color wash 
And you have these options you can choose from with your lock screen on your iPhone and iOS 16. I wanna show you a few of my options that I've created with this lock screen. So for example, if I swipe right, I actually created a Jon Snow one from Game of Thrones, which I think is super cool for all those Game of Thrones fans out there. I have tons of options I wanna choose from. I have this generic one that they give me. Any iPhone wallpaper you wanna choose, you can essentially add, it's gonna look very nice with a high quality display and great aesthetics on this lock screen for iPhone 14s with iOS 16. So depending on the lock screen that you have turned on at the moment and set to on your iPhone, you can actually choose a focus mode for that specific wallpaper. So for example, if we hold down this icon right here or this wallpaper, you're gonna see this little tab down here that says focus. So if we click on that, now you can link a certain focus mode with this specific lock screen. For example, say, I want for this specific lock screen, I want do not disturb linked with this. So I can turn this on. So now whenever I'm on this specific lock screen, my phone's gonna be in do not disturb mode. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, it says do not disturb. But say I wanna have a different lock screen signal, a different focus mode. If I hold down my phone again and go to this one, for example, and click focus. Now I can have this one in sleep mode. So now whenever I go to sleep, I set my phone to this specific wallpaper, and now it's gonna be in sleep mode for this specific wallpaper when I wanna go to bed. And you can do this with any of your wallpapers that you have. You can just choose a focus mode by linking that and clicking that right here, and just choose whichever one you want on your iPhone 14. I'm gonna turn this off for now, but whenever you wanna link a focus mode, just know you can do that with the lock screen if you have your phone updated to iOS 16 on your iPhone 14. And for sleep mode, as you saw, I linked this specific lock screen with sleep mode on my iPhone 14. And if you click this icon right here, you're gonna see I have sleep turned on until tomorrow at 7.45. Now, I only turn this on at night, so when it actually comes to 7.45 a.m. in the morning, it'll actually shut off sleep mode and my phone will be back to normal with its normal screen, just like this. So for example, so if you like to spend time on your phone before you go to bed, but you know it's time to go to sleep, you can just turn on this sleep icon right here. Your phone's gonna go black and it's gonna ask you if you wanna go in to go on your phone before doing so because you're in sleep mode. So I definitely recommend turning that on before you go to bed. It's very helpful when going to bed. And also if you pair this with night mode, like I previously showed you in the control center, you can actually prevent any eye damage and get a great night's sleep with the help of your iPhone 14. Also, just remember you can go to the control center and choose any of these options right here through that. But this is a little bit about the do not disturb modes you can choose on your iPhone 14 with iOS 16. You can always create a new focus mode right here and you can choose specific categories you wanna focus on. You can custom, driving, fitness, gaming, anything you wanna do, you can actually create a focus mode for that specific focus on your iPhone 14. So we'll dive into that later, but that's one way you can edit and customize your focus mode in your control center or on your lock screen with your iPhone 14. Now, the next app I wanna show you is one that's already pre-installed when you get your iPhone 14, and that is the Contacts app. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing you the Contacts app as one of our favorite apps for the iPhone 14, but with iOS 16, the Contacts app actually offers a brand new feature that I wanted to show you all, and I think it is super cool. So if we go to Contacts right here, you're gonna see it's a normal Contacts app that you've seen throughout the years with your iPhone, but right here, this is the brand new feature I wanna talk about where it says four duplicates found. So with the Contacts app now with iOS 16, you can actually merge duplicate cards cards for a contact and combine the cards, keeping all the unique information in a single card for that specific contact. So now when you have multiple contacts that are under the same information, you can actually merge those so it doesn't take up any data or storage on your iPhone. So let's check it out. If we click view duplicates right here, you're going to see four contacts that I found and I can merge them all together. So there's no more data and less contacts you have right on your list. So let's click merge all, for example, right here and let's click merge duplicates. So now all of those duplicate contacts that I had in my iPhone are now merged together. So there's no need to worry about having the same contact with the same information more than once on your iPhone 14. And this is a brand new feature I wanted to show you on the Contacts app, but let's move on to the next app now. Now, the next app I wanna talk about is also pre-installed when you get your iPhone 14, and that's the iMessage app. And similar to the Contacts app, it's pretty self-explanatory, the iMessage app, but with iOS 16, it offers tons of new features that I wanted to show you all, and they're all super cool. So it's definitely worth showing you in this best apps video. So let's dive into all the new features that come with the iMessage app on your iPhone 14. So texting using iMessage on your iPhone is pretty self-explanatory and I'm sure you all have a good idea of how to use it. But with iOS 16, there's some brand new features on the iOS update that you can actually use with text message. And one of those is to be able to unsend or edit text messages after you send them. And I wanna show you how to do this because it's about time they brought this feature to text message. I think it's super cool and it's very useful. So I wanna show you how this works. So if I type in hi right now and click send, 
all I have to do is just hold down on that sent message and I have the option to undo send or edit send. So I'm gonna click undo send right here. And now that's gonna disappear and the person I sent that message to, they won't see that text message either. It will be completely erased. It says you unsent a message. So if they're not updated to iOS 16, they still might be able to see the message. But by this time, I'm sure everyone's gonna be updated to iOS 16 soon enough. So they won't be able to see that unsent message. But I also wanna show you how to edit a text message as well. So say I type hi again and like that, and then I hold down on that button again, I can actually edit this message and change what I wanna say. So I can say, hi, how are you instead? And now that text message will be edited and I just click send right here. And now it's gonna be edited. It's gonna show that it's been edited and it might show that on the person you sent that to as well. But this is how you can unsend and edit a text message on iMessage. Like I said, I'm glad they brought this feature to the iPhone. It's about time. It comes in very handy if you mess up a message or need to unsend something. And say someone sends you a message in a different language or if you wanna translate your text message to a different language, you can do that as well on iMessage. All you have to do is hold down this text and go to translate right here. And now you can choose what language you want to choose right now. We have Spanish right now, where it's going to say, hola, como estas, based on hi, how are you? You can copy this translation. You can choose a different language and you can add to favorites or open and translate itself. And you can definitely do this any way you want with this iMessage and just translate any text message or see what they're saying in a different language through this feature on your iMessage app on your iPhone 14. And also scan certain texts and subjects from photos using your text message as well. And I wanna show you how to do this. If we hold down right here and click this right here, this icon, you're gonna see that my camera pops up and say I wanna scan a certain text of an object that I have, like this deodorant right here. All I have to do is just put my camera right here and now you can see that Harry's pops up, which is the name of this product. All I have to do is now that this has popped up in my text message, I can just click send right here. And if I wanna scroll down and choose odor or sweat control as well, I can choose that and just click send as well right here. And this is one way you can actually scan any products or text right from your camera on your iPhone 14. I definitely recommend trying that if you wanna show someone a product that you're buying or any other text that you wanna show on a picture, you can scan that and send them directly through your iMessage like I just did on my iPhone 14. With iOS 16 and the iPhone 14, you can now choose and schedule when you wanna send emails to specific people. And I wanna show you a little bit about how this works. So if we go to my mail app right now, I'm just gonna choose any random email, just like this one from Apple right here. And I click reply right here. I'm gonna click reply. I'm gonna start typing right here, I'm gonna click hi there. And this is pretty cool because if you wanna send an email but you don't wanna choose a specific time, you wanna send that out, you don't wanna send it right in the moment, you guys have the ability to do that with iOS 16. So I just typed hi there right here. I'm gonna hold down this arrow right here and now I have all these options to choose them. So I can choose send now, send at 9 p.m. tonight, 8 a.m. tomorrow, 8 a.m. Monday, or I can click send later and I can choose a specific time I wanna send that email out. So like I said, if you don't wanna send an email out right away and you wanna have a certain set date or time that you send that email out. You can now do that with the mail app on iOS 16. And I definitely recommend using that if you plan on using this new feature with your iPhone 14. With the iPhone 14 and iOS 16, there's new Safari features as well, like shared tab groups. So essentially what shared tab groups is, is you can actually plan a trip with friends or shop on a couch with your partner and you can share all your tabs in one location on your Safari app. And I wanna show you how this works. So if we click this icon right here, it's gonna take me to this specific page on Safari. If I wanna add a new one, I can just click that plus button right here. If I go back and click two tabs right here, now you're gonna see I have my tab groups. I'm just gonna show two tabs. And I have the option to turn this to private if I like. So if we click private, essentially what this does is it turns on a private browsing mode. And Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information after you choose a tab in your private browsing mode. So if you want only information that you can see that you're looking up on Safari and you'd want that private to yourself, you can create a private browsing mode simply by doing what I just showed you on your iPhone 14 Safari app right here. And if we go back, you can see you can create a new empty tab group or new tab groups from these two tabs right here. So if we click that right now, a new tab group pops up and I can title that. I'm gonna say me slash personal right here. And now that's gonna be my new tab group. And these two tabs are gonna be in that specific tab group. I don't have any information them. I was just showing you the Safari page. But if you wanna have some information that you wanna share and create in a new tab group, you can just create that right here on Safari. And now that's gonna be your new tab group right here. And also in addition to this, you can see that my browser or my search bar is at the top of my screen. In previous iOS updates, they moved it down here. And I wanna show you guys, you have the option to choose between where you want your search bar on your Safari tab. And all we have to do is just go 
out of the app, go on settings right here. And then we can scroll all the way down till we see Safari right here. And now we have the option to choose which way we wanna see our search bar. We have it at the top or the bottom. Like I said, I prefer the top, but in previous iOS updates, they moved that to the bottom. So if we move it to the bottom right here and then go back to Safari, you're gonna see that now the search bar is at the bottom of the screen opposed to the top. This is completely up to your preference. I prefer the top, but you just know you can change that in the settings of your iPhone 14. The last app I wanna talk about actually comes pre-installed on your iPhone 14 as well. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but it is the tips app right here. So overall, the iPhone 14 offers tons of new features and iOS 16 offers a ton of new features as well. And it's great to go to the tip app just to get an idea of what you're using and how to use these with these new updates and this new iPhone. Tons of things you can search and look up to get an idea of what you're using and how to use it. So I definitely recommend using the tip app if you're new to iOS 16 or the iPhone 14 so you can walk away from this video and use your iPhone like an absolute expert. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for the new iPhone 14 and and iOS 16. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. Also go give us a follow at findvip, which is our Instagram account where we share the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all iPhone 14 content, Android, and other Apple products. And I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com to see all these incredible apps like Quick Thoughts and Rakuten that allow you to earn incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all great apps that are worth checking out. So definitely check out all these links, you guys. They're gonna be in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.